Hello! So, we're live now. I will wait for some viewers before we start with this little explanation about the Boa Ibiza cardigan. So, heads up! I will wait a little bit more. Is there anyone who's watching? Hello? Someone? Anyone? Yes, I've got one viewer. Hi! <laughs> I will wait a little bit longer so everyone, everyone can join this live stream with me before we start with the explanation about what, how and when. Hi! <laughs> it's, I'm so excited, you know. I'm sweating like hell, but no problem. We will fix it later. <laughs> um, yes. Here's the cardigan, I'll put the bag on it so to show you that it's not only the cardigan we are making afterwards, we will provide the pattern for the bag as well. It's going to be a paid cardigan, but we will provide a win action. So after the seven weeks is finished, we will post one post that you can make your, put your photograph in it, make a nice photograph, put the cardigan on, the jacket on. And place it because the most beautiful vests we will give the pattern for free so heads up for that one so let's get started i will take the bag off to show you this boho ibiza cardigan i'll put it there first of all i've oh, we have opened uh, a question topping for questions which are urgent we will start off with the yarn. Yarn size, when you check the label on the yarn ball itself, it should be about 4 or 5 millimeters recommended. Check the label, you can use cotton yarns, you can use wool, you can use acrylic yarns. This one is made of acrylic. Most pictures Anna Maria has posted are all from acrylic yarns, most of them. Some have made it, made it from uh, merino wool. And I think one or two are made from cotton, but they're one millimeter thick cotton. Uh, per example, uh, you can use Drops Paris. That's about four or five millimeter thick yarn. And you can crochet it on four and a half millimeters crochet hook. A four and a half millimeters crochet hook is in USG size six and an English size seven. So that first. Second of all. The required, required meters versus yards. For size 36 European size up to 42, you need 3133 meters. And in yards, it is 3426 yards. The size bigger from 44 up to 50 yard, uh, me, uh, uh, size European, you should use about 4,579 meters, that is approximately 5,000 yards, 5,007. For a size 52 up to 58, that's I think the largest, largest women's size in the UA, U, uh, Europe, you need about 6,025 meters and about, that's about 6,590 yards. All Calculated on 4 mm thick yarn. You can use all kinds of yarn. If you use a smaller yarn, uh, it could be that the granules become smaller. I will explain it later. That's no problem at all, but you need more granules. So I cannot give you any heads up about the meters or yards for that one. So you have to buy or dive into your own stash to figure it out. Uh, we had a question about pictures in the topics for the colors that has, has been used. And Marie posted some uh, programs or links on the Facebook page where you can put the picture in and it translates automatically to the colors that has been used. So please do that. And that's the way you can find out what colors it is or were and what is your best choice. Um, 
I had also seen I've also seen a question about making a jacket. That is possible, but it's an open cardigan. In week seven we will make the ends uh, the finishing touches of this cardigan. You can make it you can make it that way to close it completely, but you have to see it in week seven. But it's possible. Okay. Explanation about how the cardigan is made up. The fast cardigan. I did not give any sizes for the jackets on the Facebook page. Why? This cardigan is made up throughout these grannies. That's where you will start with. So you will measure up those grannies around your breast line here. And if it fits up here, you have a gap here about 5 to 7 centimeters, then you are correct. From here out on, we will go up and afterwards we will go down. This part here, you will crochet up until uh, the shoulder seams. That is directly the size for your arms, for your sleeves. So I do not have, ma I do not make any size on the Facebook page because the uh, fast is made, the cardigan is made out of the grannies. That's the basic of the complete cardigan. So that's why. Um, I also did not make any measurements about the length or the width. One person crochets very tight, the other person crochets very, very loose. So I cannot give you any measurements. It's all in the pattern, written. If you follow up these uh, steps in the pattern, you will get the complete cardigan. This cardigan is made also for a child size for a 12 year old with the same stitches, only tighter yarn, smaller yarn. So it's, it's, you can do it for a child. And we have a couple of ladies with a big size, a plus size. They made them also. There's also a couple of pictures in the overview Anna Marie has posted. So I will turn this around so that you can see the back of it. For a size 36 up to size 38, you will use five grains in total around it. Between the two grannies up front and on the back, you will create the armpit here. So you have one on the front and one on the back. If you have a bigger size, you can add one granny more. If they touch each other, then it's too many. So then you have to take one granny for the front. Um, this one has not a uh, V-shaped, uh, I don't know the English word, rever on here. But in one picture as posted on the Facebook page, it has. That one will be provided, so don't worry, it will come. It's also in the pattern. Uh, about the web pages. www.hepsa.nl It's Dutch English. If you see the buttons, you will see patterns in Dutch and in English. I put all the most important stuff on the English in English language as well. Only the problem is my provider does not provide me to change the invoices. I put one uh, document on the Facebook page which explains what is what. Dutch, English. I've translated for you all. If you follow those steps, you can order. You will go automatically to PayPal. If you have proceeded the PayPal transaction, that should be in English because it's an English uh, American company. I can't change that. That's on PayPal. Um, if you have proceeded that one, you will go automatically back to the internet page of mine. Um, there you have to click on the button right below says Nu Kopen. Then your order has been finished. If you try to order on your mobile device, like a mobile phone or an iPad or a tablet, you have the problem that it won't work. So please use a desktop or a laptop. 
that should be no problem. Then it's fixed, then the order has been placed. Rijgadekopen.nl has an English version as well as mine, but different. So that's the, the two differences. Um, when you have ordered at my account, at my page, you will receive a later a link to a Facebook page is underneath your invoice. It says the link and underneath when you have another name on your transaction then on Facebook please let us know. We have some requests to enter the secret Facebook page but we can't enter them because the name is not had a, did not came up in our orders. So please do let us know when you have another name than your PayPal account on Facebook. Um, and that counts also for the Facebook uh, for the internet page from Dreigaarkopen.nl from Anna Marie Lub. Further on, you will see this lovely pink sweater. There will come a free tutorial on YouTube. It will not be a written pattern, but a YouTube video call. So, this one we will start with. If you have paid, you will go automatically to the secret group. There will be the question topics and all things you need to know extra. And um, yeah, further on. Do you guys have any questions for me? Use musket drops. Yes, you can use that one. Yes, I can't see any other questions anymore. So I will scroll a bit. Let's see. Um, of this being May and see close in some problem. No, you don't need that, uh, Linda Wolf. You can, but you don't. You don't need them. I made two buttons here. Yes, of course, it's in English, Regina. On top of the breasts, on top. You will measure it on top of the breast. There you will start. US terms, yes, indeed. That's international, so I can put in the English terms, but only the English people will understand it. So, no, it's in US terms. Eight ply, I don't think that will work. Sorry. Yes, you can use them, uh, Sabrina. That's no problem. So your sizing is based on the bus. Yes, yes. That's why I did not put any size measurements in there. It's built out of these grannies here. That's your whole basic for the complete cardigan. Oh yeah, one thing. The cardigan is made out of a straight A-line. But if you want to have as many grannies as this cardigan has, you have to add more decreases on the beginning and ending of each rows. It is in the pattern written. So if you don't decrease any more, you will get, when you have five grannies on top, you'll get six up to seven grannies on the bottom. It's easily to adjust. Oh yeah, I have seen one more question in the topics, on the question topics, about size, length, width, etc. The length, you can stop any row you want, unless it's a row with double crochets only or half double crochets only. Do not stop in a row with cross stitches, pinwheel motifs, etc. Please do stop only when you see a row in the pattern with double crochets or half double crochets. Then you can stop, measure it up as explained in the pattern, then you can make it a short jacket or a long jacket or Whatever size you want it. It's easy to adjust. Linda Wolf. Oh yeah, I've already answered that one. Are there more questions, ladies? Here you mean, uh, Linda Wolf. Around the waist size or larger, higher or lower?
You can adjust it to every size. If your hair bigger than there, it's no problem. If your hair small, uh, if your hair smaller than there, you can also adjust it. So this is really the basics of all the cardigan. Yes, belly hair. Belly. No, you can adjust it every time when you enter a new row. As long as your breasts here are covered correctly, then you are good to go. We had some uh, ladies who had big hips and small tight up here. They made the guardian as well. Yes, you can finish it without sleeves. It's also really, really lovely. I will post tomorrow a picture of the beginning of this cardigan without sleeves. So then you know how it looks like without sleeves. But it's also really lovely. Nice for the summer or so. Here you mean. What do you mean with that? I do not see all questions because I, I'm filming with my mobile phone and the questions go up and up and up. I will scroll down a bit. There we have between the bottom of your model. For to get it smaller or bigger, uh, Linda Wolf? scroll back to close it up you mean Linda if you use cotton Helen or heavier weight yarn if the cotton is too thick it will be too heavy so please do not use any heavier yarn than it's recommended on 4 mm thick yarn. No, it does not pull on the white belly. No. Regina, I, I can't tell you the length or the width from the buttons to the bottom. Why? I crochet on a, on a certain tension, you probably crochet on another other tension. So I can give you a not an exact measurement. But if you want to know, I'm 172 and the cardigan reaches out up until middle of my uh, about 20, cent, 20 up to 30 centimeters under my knees. And the model is the daughter of Anna-Marie Lup, Sylvia. She is I think approximately 162, 1 meter 62. So that's that's what I can give you right now. <laughs> I hope it's enough for now. About weights and sizes, please see the topics. There are multiple explanations about that. Can it be made so I can have button to the knee? Yes, you can. Yes. What you will do when you have measured here, for example, five grannies and you want to close it up until the knees, you have to add more uh, decreases in the beginning so it will close up. I will strongly advise you all to measure and wear it, put it on to measure it every other row. If you want to close it up until the knees and you want to line it, Please put it on after several rows. Then you will see automatically, okay, I have to put more on it or less on it. Or you can stop with degreasing. So that's, please put it on your body. That's the perfect measurement you can, you can, can make. No, I don't have it here, Linda Wolf. But I'm busy right now with a, a plain color, a white color. I will show you later. Are there more questions? Um, the cardigan on the sleeves. 
Also nice to know we do not start up here, but we start up again with the grannies. The grannies you have to measure it around your elbow, just above your elbow. Most people have enough of two grannies, some have to take three grannies. Then we go again up and then we go down. That's how the sleeves are made of made. Yes, Helen. We will start with week one with this area, the grannies. Because I we have noticed in the week one that there will be many many questions about how to figure it fit it around your body. Uh, in week one I will strongly advise you to take a shirt or a blouse. Pin the grannies around it and measure it. Put it on your body. Just pin it on your blouse. You know, it's needles or something like that. Put it on and look if it fits correctly. You should have one granny here and one granny here. So your armpit will fall into it. That's the basic where we will start with. Second week we will go up, make the seams and close it. Third week we will go down. Fourth week we will go down, very down. Fifth and sixth are the sleeves and the rest. And seven of course. Uh, sixth week is the other, sorry. Sixth week are the grannies below with the ripple. It will be done separately and made together afterwards. After we have done this, we will make the sleeves and then it's ready to go. After week seven, we will leave the patterns for a little while longer on the secret Facebook page for those who have not managed to download it. Um, if you still don't have it and we have closed it, please contact us. If you have ordered via hubsa.nl, please email me, not breigaankopen.nl, because she can't answer any questions for me. If you have ordered or have questions about breigaankopen.nl, please ask her on her account, not at mine. We can't look in each other's accounts for that. So that's one thing for a heads up, because we have noticed some people who have asked questions to Annemarie Lup instead of me and they've ordered at my account so that's not working very well um, about the payments on my account I've put some uh, links into my ad you if you have problems with paying you can pay via PayPal me I've added the link into it please contact me first if you want to have an invoice I will make one for you if that doesn't work, I have an email address in the topic. You can send payments via PayPal to that email address. And please also contact me. I will make you an invoice. So that can be arranged anytime. Do we have more questions? Oh yeah, anyway. My name on Facebook is Christy Jelly. But when you download the pattern, you will see Doris van der Waals. That's my real name. So, don't look very weird when you see another name on it, but that's my real name. Doris, Doris van der Waals. Facebook, Christy Jelly. I already crochet for about 16 years. I make patterns about 7 years right now. I've never published them. I've just started and I really, really love it. And I have learned it from my grandmother. My grandmother made patterns for a Dutch magazine from the first magazine on and it's called Libelle and Marguerite. She has stopped with that seven years before she died and I've learned all the ins and outs from her. So it's not the first time I, uh, I have made a pattern. So. But it's for me very, very excited to go international. You always dream about it, but now it's real. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous. 
My English is still in speaking a bit rusty, but it will come. It will come. Uh, on the YouTube pages, hubsa.nl is my YouTube page. I put it on the question topic for this uh, live stream. Vrijgaarkopen.nl uh, is that one from Anna Marie. Please subscribe to our channels so that you don't miss any update. I've already put one video on it from the Tunis Dream Show. It is a really lovely show. I, I wear it every day. My English is very fine. Well, <laughs> I had a lot of coffee today <laughs> because I'm bloody nervous. <laughs> you cannot imagine. But okay. Um, there's already one video on, on YouTube. Tunis Dream Show. If you see the word English behind it, that's the videos for you guys. If you see Dutch, you can try to understand it, but Dutch is a difficult language. Um, I think that breigaarkopen.nl has it also, but I have not checked it before. So, sorry Annemarie. Are there more questions? In fun fur. <laughs> wow, I would love to see that. <laughs> yeah, you can incorporate. I, I will really advise you to put it like in the lines underneath the grannies or around the grannies and on the borders. That should be really, really lovely to look. Or a boa, perhaps. Some grannies fur around. Oh, nice idea. Anyway. Um, after we finish this one, we will start with a handbag. It's a really one big bag. I love it. It's a bit upcycled. Why? Because we use a gentleman's blouse in it. I will show you. It's cool. I wear it every day. I use it every day. See here? That's the blouse of my husband. To line it. <laughs> well, I've got many problems, uh, projects, Helen, so she can get rid of her stash. No problem. This is the handbag. We will make later on. So if you stay tuned and you win this pattern, you are ready to go. This uh, Simply Sweater we will make also. That's a free tutorial on YouTube. I've got many more patterns to go. We will make a big scarf also. And um, what do we have more? I had some free tutorials on the Dutch page, but I'm busy with some English pages. Oh yeah, I'm busy with one uh, cardigan as well. It's a pattern you all guys know. Oh no, but there's no pattern for a cardigan yet, so I'm the first one to make it. I hope you all make it. It's also possible in cotton, but you will see it later on. Please stay tuned to the base page of this uh, Facebook page, here on this Facebook page, because there we will post some free tutorials as well in the closed group during this project or after. Yes, it's a really big bag. You can put around uh, eight, uh, 18 balls in it of yarn, Dutch balls. They're about like this. It fits 18 balls in there. So yes, it's a big one. And it's a bit upcycled because I hate to put stuff away. I'd rather you reuse it than throw it away. <laughs> I've heard that before, Kelly. <laughs> yes, I make my job of it, so. So, no, we will not stop after this cardigan. There are many more to come. Free tutorials, pay tutorials, both. So, I would say, buy the pattern at hubsa.nl or at breingaarenkopen.nl. Get invited to the secret group. Buy your yarn or dive into your stash and get started. We would love to see which yarns you will use. So as I have already explained before, drops Paris or drops cotton, you can use uh, drop safran. It's a bit smaller, but you can use it. 
uh, Stylecraft DK special, uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, what kind of yarns do you have more? Karen Soft you can use. At least, at least it's not bigger than five millimeter recommended. Uh, four, four and a half millimeter crochet hook. So J or G six, seven size. Yeah, Red Heart Soft you can use also. Uh, be careful with uh, Drops Delight. You can use it, but it's pilling. You can use it, but use when you use Drops Delight, you combine it with Drops. Uh, they say Drop Delight or Red Heart Boutique. Don't use it alone. Use it with a normal acrylic yarn together. It gives you more strength. It's it's so horrible when you make one big cardigan and you can throw it away because all the shapes are out. So that's my advice. Karen Simply Soft. Splits too much. Well, I can't tell anything about it because we can't buy it here. It's not available here in the Netherlands. Oh shit. So, three different sizes I just dropped in. I will put this video tutorial on my YouTube channel so you can see it later back. Yes, you can use Scheepjes Color Crafter. Scheepjes wool is, by the way, a Dutch wool. So, I think you all know enough by now. I will end this live stream for now. If we have any more heads up, we will come. I will come live again. I will pronounce this on the Facebook page. Please be aware that we have a time clap, that time differences throughout the world. It's now here about half past twelve. And I don't know what time it is at your place. So if I post a post, I'm in at two hours. Please look at your clock two hours further. That's the time we will go live. So Dinner time. Well, I had it already. <laughs> so, I will say have a nice evening or day or morning, wherever you are. And I hope you all buy the pattern. The links are on the Facebook page. And happy crocheting. Bye bye. Welcome. Ciao, ciao.